Hello rail fans and welcome to French Fried Trains. Today we're going to be building the Seminole Golf B39-AE. And this is a standard cab Dash 8. And this is the 4 axle version of the Dash 8, not the 6 axle. So let's get right into the build here. So as usual, we'll start off with the rear coupler here, so take out a dark oak stair, and we'll get that attached up. Under it, a sideways dark oak bed skate. Then, on the next block down behind it, we're going to put three polished blackstone blocks on the middle, on bottom. And then an upside down polished blackstone stair facing outward on either side. Above it, five polished blackstone blocks. Then in front of it, We'll do a three block tall T shape of polished black stone and hang a lantern on either side of the second layer. In front of that, a five by three of polished black stone coming out to each side. Then we're gonna put three oak slabs coming up this gap for the stairs and then three on this side. On this top middle back here, we're gonna put three polished black stone slabs. Then come down here, open a dark oak bend skate above the rail and one on this side. Then up here we'll put two lightning rods here and two here. Then we need to get a mangrove fence gate and a creeper head. And up here we'll put a creeper head on each side and a mangrove fence gate in the middle. Now come in front of it and we're going to put a dark oak fence gate on each rail. And behind that, we'll do a set of netherite wheels with a cauldron in between them. And then right here, a lectern and a sideways dark oak bend skate in the middle. Skip a block forward, another set of netherite wheels with a cauldron, and then a lectern facing this way. Then we're going to put three sideways lightning rods in between the wheels on each rail here. So it looks like that. Then go ahead and put a hopper on the side of all four wheels and then a dark oak bend skate on each of these wheels at this end. Then in front of this, we're gonna put a string on bottom in between the rails on all three here. And there's an air tank here, so we're gonna crouch and put five sideways anvils across those strings. And then on the top middle, we'll run a line of polished blackstone block up the center. And then on the side of it, a line of dark oak bend skates. And we'll do the same thing here line of dark oak bend skates right here. Then in front of this we'll do our fuel tank. We're going to put three polished black stone across the bottom middle and we're going to make it 12 blocks long. So a giant 3 by 12 rectangle. Then there's another air tank at this end. So we'll put five sideways anvils across here. Then in front of this, we'll do a dark oak bend skate on each rail. In front of that, a set of netherite wheels with a cauldron in between them. Then in the middle, we'll put a string and a lectern, a sideways dark oak bend skate, skip a block, another set of netherite wheels with a cauldron, and then a string and a lectern going this way. Then in between the wheels on each side, we'll put three horizontal lightning rods on each side. Then up here, a dark oak bend skate on either side of these wheels. Now we'll go back to polished blackstone on this second layer and come three wide on top of the fuel tank here. And we're just going to actually fill in this whole top of the fuel tank three wide. Then in front of it, a line of polished blackstone up the center till you're aligned with these fence gates. And then a full row of dark oak fence gates on the side up here. And a full row on the side up here. Then we're going to come on the bottom of the fuel tank and put a line of upside down, outward facing, polished blackstone stairs. And above it, a line of polished blackstone blocks. And we'll repeat the process on this side. So a line of upside down polished black stone stairs on the bottom of the fuel tank here. A 
then a line of polished blackstone blocks above it. Now grab another brick fence, one here above this anvil, one on this side. Come to the back and do the same thing, so one here and one here. Then up here on the top of the fuel tank, we're going to do a mangrove button, skip one, a mangrove sign, and then back here on the third block from the end, a mangrove button. Same thing here, so a button here, a button here, and a sign here. Now come up front and we're going to put a hopper on the sides of all four of these front wheels. Then we're going to come down here and crouch and put a wither skeleton skull on the side of each hopper. Same thing back here, one on each of these hoppers. Then we'll do the other side, one on each of these hoppers. One more corner to go. Then we're going to take deep slate tile stairs in between the wheels here. And we need to get an upside down stair facing into each wheel. And then we'll put a deep slate tile slab on the bottom middle here so it looks like this. And we're going to repeat it on the other side. Get an upside down stair going into each wheel here. And a slab on the bottom middle. And then we'll do it for the back wheels. Upside down stair into each of these wheels. And a slab on the bottom middle. And one more corner to go. Upside down stair into each of these wheels. And then a slab on the bottom middle. Now we're also going to need a grindstone and a lightning rod. We're going to come stand up here and crouch and put a deep slate tile slab on each of these four hoppers. And then three dark oak trap doors across the middle on each side. So it looks like that. And we repeat the process up here. So crouch, deep slate tile slab on all four of the hoppers. Three dark oak trap doors on the middle of each side. Then we're going to come out here, put a grindstone here and here. Same thing on this side. And we do the same thing back here. And on this other side. Then we're going to come up here and crouch again. And we're going to put a lightning rod here and here. Turn around, one here and one here. Come up here and do the same thing. Crouch, lightning rod here and here, turn around, one here, one here. Now come up front in front of this, and we're going to do a 5x3 of polished blackstone coming out to each side. In front of that, a T-shape in the middle, hang a lantern on either side of the second layer. In front of that, on the bottom middle, three polished blackstone stairs, and an upside down stair facing outward on either side. Above that, a block in the middle, two upside down stairs on each side. Then three upside down stairs on this top middle, three oak slabs coming up this gap on the side, three oak slabs on this side. Take out a dark oak stair for the coupler, turn around, stack it up to that middle second block. Under it, we're going to put a sideways dark oak fence gate, and then open a dark oak fence gate on either side. Then right here, two sideways lightning rods, two here. Then we're going to grab a creeper head and a mangrove fence gate. Put a creeper head on either side up here and a fence gate between them. Then we're going to come up on this third layer 
and we're going to fill this top middle three end to end with polished black stone block up here. And we'll just keep it coming down to the back. Just like that. Then we'll start up in this corner with an oak slab here. And we're going to come on this top outside edge and alternate two blocks of space in an oak slab. And just keep doing that pattern all the way to the back. Then we'll come and fill the two blocks of space in between all of them with polished blackstone slabs. Repeat it on this side, so take out your oak slabs. Just copy that pattern with two blocks of space between each slab. And then come back through and fill the gaps between them with polished blackstone slabs. Just like that. Now we're going to come on top of this here and we're actually going to come down to the rear end. My front end's facing the void out here, so my rear end's back here. And back here, we're going to change these two blocks to black wool and then this one right here to black wool. And then we'll come back up front. Now come on top of the front on the third block in in the center and we're going to do an orange concrete, a yellow, and a blue. On either side, we'll do blue, orange, then yellow. Then behind this, two blue concrete on the bottom of each side here. Then two orange, then two yellow. Fill the top middle with blue concrete. Then we're going to take out blue shulker boxes here. And we're going to put two on the bottom right here. Two on this side. And then behind it, another seven blue shulker boxes coming back. Then we'll come over here and do seven on this side as well. Then we're going to take out an orange concrete on this side. And we're going to put an orange concrete right here. And then four blue concrete behind it. Then, on this other side, we need to start right here, and we'll do five blue concrete on this side. Then right here, a door, turn this way, and a door right here. In front of this, we'll put three blue concrete. On the far side, three blue concrete at the back. Then a door here, and a door here. Then we'll do two black stained glass panes and a blue concrete. Come over here, two black stained glass panes and a blue concrete. Then come in between here, put a temporary block here and close a warp trap door. Take out the temporary block. Come in front of it, crouch, and put a blue banner on the front of it. Then right here, a white stained glass pane for a mirror. Then we're gonna take out warped stairs and on this top, we'll put four warp stairs facing outward. And then four on this side. And we'll fill the middle of this with blue concrete for the roof. On the front of it, we're gonna do a blue concrete on the top middle here. And then a blue stained glass pane on either side of it. Then we're gonna come off the cap on the top middle here and do four blue concrete two cobble deep slate, two iron bars on either side of the cobble deep slate. Then three blue concrete behind here. Then up on this side at the front, a blue concrete, two sideways observers, blue concrete. The other side is different, so up here, we're just gonna do a line of four blue concrete up here. And then we're gonna put a warp sign on the side right here. Then we're going to come down underneath here with blue concrete on each side. And we're going to put one here and here and bring a line of blue concrete back until it's one block past the back of this. 
Then, right here, we'll do a line of orange concrete. Then a line of yellow. Then a line of blue. Then same thing here, we'll do a line of orange. Then a line of yellow. Then a line of blue. And we need to put a blue on each of these corners back here. And across this, we'll do three backward facing warp stairs. So it looks like that. Then we're going to come to the back in the middle between these black walls. On the center, we're going to put an orange concrete and a yellow. Then behind it on each side, we'll do a blue concrete, then an orange. Above that, yellow on each side, blue in the middle. And above that, two layers of blue. Swing around in front of this, and in the middle, we'll do a line of eight cobbled deep slate coming forward. And we'll make that three blocks tall. On the bottom of this, on the side here, we'll do six blue concrete coming forward from the back. Then above this, we'll do orange shulker box, yellow shulker box. Then three columns of two deep slate tile walls every other block. And in between each one, we'll put an orange shulker box and a yellow shulker box. Then in front of this here, we'll two by two of iron bars. And above that, two blue shulker boxes. Then back here, same thing, six blue concrete coming forward, three columns of walls, then orange concrete and yellow concrete between them, two by two of iron bars, two blue shulker boxes up here. And I'm realizing in the edit that's wrong, those blue shulker boxes should be yellow. Above it on each side, we'll do two rows of blue concrete to the front of this section. So we're looking like this. Then we're gonna come up on this gap in between here. And we'll just fill it in here. So on each side, we'll do a layer of blue concrete, a layer of orange, a layer of yellow, and cover this top metal three with blue concrete. And actually we're going to move this forward, so take the stairs and blue concrete off, and we'll grab warp stairs again, and we're just going to put the stairs right up against this cobble deep slate, and then fill this hole with blue concrete. And we can go ahead and fill in this top up here with blue concrete as well. Then on the front of this section on the side, a warp slab on top, one at the back here. Then we're gonna put one in this corner here, one here, one on this side, and one up here. Then we need deep slate tile stairs, and in between these slabs, a row of upside down stairs. Come over here and do the same thing, like that. Then up here, we're gonna do the T-shape of warp slabs here, three across the front of this, and then come up the middle. On these side gaps, we'll put deep slate tile slabs to continue all the vents on both sides here. Then we'll come work on this section here, Two rows of warp slabs, a smoker for an exhaust, slabs on either side, and three in front of it. Then two on each side, and actually this doesn't quite look right. We're going to move the smoker back one block, then a slab here, and leave the gap here for the horn. Put a sideways dark oak fence gate, and open one in front of it for the horn. Now come up front here, a T-shape of black carpet on the front porch, then one here and here. Then we need to crouch and get a black carpet on this shulker box, and two over here. On top of the nose up here, we're gonna cover this with blue carpet. Then up here, a flower pot on the left, and a lever back there in the middle. 
and we're going to cover the whole rest of this section with blue carpet coming back until we're covering these iron bars here. Then we'll come down here, three blue black carpet on the shulker boxes here. That was giving me some trouble there. And then we'll bring black carpet all the way down this walkway. Then two on this back middle, one on the right, and then come all the way up this walkway with your black carpet. Then we're gonna take oak fences right here, come up by five. Right here, we're gonna come up three, over one, up two. Over here, right here, we come up three, over one, up two. Here, come up five. Then go to dark oak fence, two here, two here. And we're also gonna grab a chain and put a chain across the gap between them. Then right here, dark oak, go back one, up one, over one. Here, we'll just come back three. And then we'll come down to the back, go back to oak fence. Here, come up four. Here, come up three, over one, up two. Here, come up three, over one, up two. And here, come up four. Go to dark oak fence, two here, two here, a chain across the gap. Then take your dark oak fence and attach it up right here and start bringing it forward up this side. When you get right here, we'll come up one and then over to the cab. And we're going to do the same thing over here. Connect it up right here. Bring it forward right here. Come up one, over two, then up one and over one. So it looks like that. Then come down here and crouch and put two blue banners over this door on the side. Then right here, we're gonna put a warp sign with our number 590. And we'll hit that sign with white dye and a glow ink sack. And we're gonna repeat it over here. So come down here and crouch. A warp sign right here with 590. And then take blue banners. And I was having some trouble with it, but we need to get two blue banners over that door on the side. Hit your sign with white dye and a glow ink sack. Now come up front here, a glow item frame on either of these fences with a frog light. Then one on this top middle with a frog light. And on either side of that, we're gonna do a birch sign with 590. And we'll hit both of those with a glow ink sack. Then come on this side of the nose and close the jungle trap door right here for the brake wheel. Now we'll come and detail the back. Back here, a glow item frame on either of these fences with a frog light. And then one right here in the middle with a frog light. Then in these corners, we're going to put blue stained glass panes, then orange, then yellow, then blue on each side. On either side of the light, we're going to do a dark oak sign with 590. And we'll hit these ones with white dye and then a glowing set. And then we need to grab warp fence gates, and on this left hand side, we'll open a column of warp fence gates up to the top here for the ladder. Now come into a loom, and we're gonna use a black banner and blue dye, put a border on it, make the bottom half blue. Then a red banner and white dye, put a horizontal on the center, and then one with a vertical on the left, make the bottom half red, go back to white, and a horizontal on the middle and the top. And we're gonna come place these. This 
blue one is for the windows. So we're going to put one right here. And we'll put one on the back right here. Then here we're going to put the two red ones in a pattern like this for the logo. Come over here and do the same thing, except I just realized the logo has to go the opposite direction on this side. So we need to make one. So a red banner, white die, make a vertical on the right, bottom half red, go back to white and put a horizontal on the middle in the top. And then that one can go right here. Now we'll come up in these stripes back here. And we're gonna put four polished black stone buttons here and three here for the lettering. Come over to this side, come down here, put three right here and then four right here. Now, we'll come inside and do the interior. We'll throw some frog lights down in the bottom for hidden lighting, take smooth sandstone slabs, and we'll fill in this floor at the same height of the doors here. In the back here, we'll put two blast furnaces and a torch up there if you want. Right here, a netherite with two levers on it, then turn around and go ahead and put a stair on each side for seats. And now the interior is completed there. And there we have it folks. We've completed our Seminole Golf Standard Cab Dash 8 locomotive. I hope everyone enjoyed the build here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone have a great week. Stay safe out there.